In the realm of history, accuracy and respect are paramount. Yet Bruce Moon's recent article on Wanganui history and culture has sparked controversy, prompting a detailed critique from the Maori Green Lantern. Moon's narrative, while acknowledging the loyalty of Maori and settlers in 1864, is marred by a one-sided portrayal that skews towards a colonial mindset. His choice to use Wanganui over Fanganui disregards the official name change recognized by New Zealand's Geographic Board and the local iwi. Moreover, his language referring to Maori as natives and their actions as murder echoes an outdated colonial rhetoric that undermines Maori sovereignty. The article's inaccuracies extend to historical facts, such as the misattribution of the name Aotearoa to the Wanganui River and reliance on sources lacking historical credibility. Moon's dismissal of Rangi Mari Manuel's feelings towards a monument as hurtful lacks the cultural empathy embodied in the Maori concept of Aroha. Ken Mayer's and Nancy Twain's objections to derogatory labels on their ancestors highlight the need for narratives that honor Maori Takanga and foster understanding. Bruce Moon's article is not a reliable resource for Fanganui history and culture. It is a biased piece that fails to respect the Maori heritage. For a balanced and empathetic view of the past, one must look beyond Moon's writings to reputable sources that honor the rich tapestry of Fanganui's history. The Maori Green Lantern's critique serves as a reminder of the importance of safeguarding history with integrity and care.